Hey everyone, welcome back. So first things first, uh, if you've uh, subscribed to me in the past, please make sure you double check. That YouTube thing is always happening where I think I'm, people are getting unsubscribed, so make sure you check that out. If you're not subscribed and you do enjoy this type of material, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out. Okay, so we're gonna talk about body armor versus a chest rig. Now there's a lot of debate about this. There's a lot of debate like, oh, well, if you haven't been the law enforcement or military, you shouldn't have a plate carrier. I don't give a shit what those people say. I'm gonna get whatever I think I need to protect my family and myself, and you should do the same. If it's available to us, why not have it, just in case? Now, that being said, I do always, when I'm talking about this type of gear, especially if you're gonna run full kit or you know armor, that you practice in it. Make sure that you're comfortable with it, I'm constantly changing stuff around on mine to make it more comfortable or more suitable to my needs. So that's what you should be doing as well. Don't just let it sit in the closet. Get out, use it. Um, so the question is, do you need body armor during an SHTF scenario or just simply a chest rig, which I have here. I'm going to show you here in a second. Um, it really depends. Honestly, I think you should have both. There's no real reason to not have both. I think your situations... Uh, may change and you may, uh, for instance, a bug out situation is where I'm seeing the place for a chest rig to throw all this on plus your bag and whatever else you're going to carry that adds a lot of extra weight. Now, my plates are fairly light compared to some. I've seen some that are a lot heavier, but it's still another 10 pounds of extra weight plus it's bulky on the back. So trying to run your pack on something like this is going to be a little bit more uh, difficult. Now you can get backpacks, small backpacks to attach to the molly. I do understand that. But the spies bag that I have, the gear that I have, uh, it really wouldn't work out. So that's why I would go probably with a chest rig. And as we've talked about many, many times, a bug out plan should be in place, but should be your last resort. Now I'm in a situation where I have to have a bug out plan because of my location. I live on the Oregon coast. We get an earthquake, tsunami. I'm unfortunately not in a spot where I can just wait it out. I need to get to higher ground. But I think where the armor comes into play is going to be mainly just for, for me anyways, is defending my home or my property. Now, some of you may have big pieces of property and during that situ uh, situation like that, you may want to do perimeter walks once or twice a day, which you should do. Of course, you want to make sure nobody's come on your property, hiding out or anything like that. So I think that's where that would definitely come into play. Um, I don't plan on going out and doing combat roles and all this stuff, whatever, but I do encourage people to use their equipment, uh, push yourself, that way you know what your limits are as far as when you're wearing this type of gear. Uh, the chest rig, which I have here, is obviously way smaller and a lot lighter. Now. You don't have to run this many mags. I'm just kind of showing you what this particular chest rig will hold. Uh, there was actually one other pouch too that can attach down here. I'm not utilizing that right now, but there's one in the front. You can hold three AR mags. I haven't tried AK mags in there. Sorry guys for the AK guys, but uh, there is pretty tight with the, it's, I mean, it's a nice good fit with the AR mags, AK mags. I think they're probably gonna be a little bit uh, tough to get in there. And then you can put two pistol mags on the side and you have the option of two pouches on the other side too so you can put a radio uh, you can probably put a couple extra magazines in there as well depending on what you want to run uh, and these do both come off as well it's it's a pretty modular uh, chest rig so you can take stuff out and you can run it just with this here now I like this because the straps are very thin so it's not going to interfere with my bug out bag which is the main goal here so I'm shedding a lot of weight with the plates. I'm still gonna have a little bit more uh, agility as far as being able to move around. And that is definitely key if you're, depending on what type of hike you're gonna have to do if you do bug out, weight is always gonna be your enemy. So I think that something like this would be ideal for a bug out situation. And the cost is relatively small. I believe this one was 70 bucks. Um, if you guys want more information on that, I, I don't know if I can put a link to that just because it is kind of gun related and we know how YouTube is. Uh, but you can hit my email here and I can send you a link to it. It's on Amazon. I can't remember the name of it. Oh, 
Astack says right there on the tab. Astack uh, is what the name of the rig is or the company. And it seems really well made, uh, 70 bucks. I know you can spend a lot on, on just chest rigs, but I wanted something that uh, was definitely small. Some of them are pretty big. I just want minimal. I want to be able to carry that extra ammunition if I need to without having to necessarily utilize something like this. So again, a lot of this depends on the scenario you're going to be in, the area you're in. If you, maybe you just, hey, I'm bugging out no matter what you want to go. You may want to look into something like a chest rig. Uh, now they do make tons of different types of armor, different weights uh, and plate carriers. So it's up to you. I really like this one. It's very thick and padded and it's very comfortable. I think it's the uh, Testudo 2, I want to say. I can't remember. Um, from AR500. So definitely something I would be definitely running this if I'm going to be bugging in. I'm going to bug out and like I said having this equipment doesn't mean I'm just going to be out strolling down the street looking for trouble that's absolutely stupid don't do that um, make sure that you're using it for its intended use which to me is going to be protecting my family and myself and if I have to hit the road I still want to carry some extra gear magazines things like that probably gonna have to go with the chest rig uh, one thing you don't want to run into in a bug out situation is becoming over encumbered uh, and having to ditch something. You never want to have to ditch in your gear. The whole purpose of taking it with you is to, so you can have it. You don't want to get out there and like, oh, well, I got my plate care, but man, it's just, I got to shed some weight and then you drop your plates. I mean, it's kind of a waste. Um, I mean, if I have to bug out, it's going to be a loss, but it is what it is. But make sure you're planning accordingly. That's why I think you should have multiple uh, setups for multiple different scenarios because you never really know where you're going to find yourself and something like this as well um, is very small you can put it on your seat your car your truck whatever it does not take up a lot of room uh, you know compared to something like this this is definitely very bigger and bulkier definitely has its place this definitely has its place as well so let me know what you guys think um, what you're running what you type of scenario you're preparing for and why you chose one or the other. Maybe, hey, I'm just, I don't need to bug out or do anything. I'm just gonna run a plate carrier. But for those of us who are in a situation where we may have to bug out, make sure you have your bases covered. Um, it's a small price to pay to being able to have just that little edge over uh, the next person. So thank you guys so much. I'm gonna wrap it up. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Uh, appreciate it again. Make sure you hit that like, share, subscribe button. Appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon.